Welcome back to Morandara Gaming, where we're continuing our stream of Parasite Eve. Um, the last time we played, we attempted to scale floors 20 to 30 in the Chrysler building. However, we got to the 430 boss and we were not powerful enough to defeat him. Uh, we kind of got our asses kicked. So off, off stream, I started collecting junk to obtain a junk weapon, but I kind of gave up on that because it was just taking way too long. But I decided to instead grind levels. I was level 32 or so when I, uh, the last time I streamed at level 33, I'm going to say it was, I obtained the ability, uh, liberate the most powerful ability for Aya, which we had in our first playthrough. Uh, and then I continued to level up until I got to level 38. Once you hit level 38. It's difficult to get there because the experience that you need to level up just increases exponentially every level. So to get from 36 to 37 took forever and to get from 37 to 38 took so long. But once you hit 38, it only costs like 4,000 XP moving forward about to get each level after that. So we massive, we got a ton of BP. We massively powered ourselves up. We massively, as you see, I'm level 61 now. I massively, uh, I have 937 HP. My, my gun, I believe my, ta my attack power on my gun when I lost was around 100, maybe slightly higher. And my defense was definitely under that. But now my attack power is 200. My, de my uh, defense is uh, 137. And then I even uh, boosted up my uh, PE defense as well quite a bit from, I forget what it was at, but now it's, it was low, like probably like under 40. And now it's 68. So, um, yeah. So now with our vastly boosted up uh, power, we're going to try again. And yeah, it's going to take a while to climb all those floors, but now since we level so easily, we might actually, the XP that we're getting in these battles might actually be enough to over time level up eventually we'll see we'll see how much we get for each battle right so building but as far as actually upgrading the base of our weapons and armor we're probably gonna have to just obtain better equipment in the chrysler building itself because i don't think we're going to be doing that in uh doing the junk grinding it just was taking so long to get even just a small amount of junk and I need 300 junk to get one of those uh, junk weapons, so. Let's go. This is probably going to take some time. It sucks that we ascended all those floors and then lost. Also, that definitely sucks. I would imagine I could easily defeat the 430 boss now, but as far as going forward and defeating the 440 boss, I'm not even sure. Because the jump in power between the 420 and the 430 boss was like tremendous. We're gonna stick to the left wall navigation in this maze with no map or anything and constantly changing format every floor had uh most floors have a treasure room and every floor has um an elevator and stairs yeah so we only got i don't even know if we got a hundred i don't even know if we got a hundred xp there so it's still gonna take like over 40 with that much xp like over 40 battles for us to uh actually level up so that's not ideal well, i'm sure we'll be getting more xp once we get the hit 430 we'll be getting more here's an elevator am i gonna go crazy trying to find the treasure rooms if i find stairs i'm just taking them even though you know the special um collector cards could be in the st storage rooms better weapons stat boosting items which are probably Probably one of our, one of the best things we can get right now, I'd imagine. Wow. 
a lot of damage I'm doing. Eh, actually, I probably got about 200 XP on that. I got about 200. Not that terrible. Ah, I was hoping this was stairs. That's too bad. That would have been sweet. battle Look at us. Get more and more XP as we go. We got ourselves a storage room, item room, treasure room, whatever you want to call it. We got three chests in here. Okay. Oof. I think under 60 XP we got for that. Damn, it's pretty terrible. Tool. All right, a suit with some decent buffs. And a weapon with a eh, weapon I really don't, really don't even care for. But I think I will tune up. Give a little boost to our sundress armor. Nothing crazy, it's a kind of minor little boost. We'll take it. Something. Damn, dead end. Medicine. Let's use some of these twos. Do seem quite strong, but we'll see what happens when we get to the boss. Probably gonna have to lean heavily on liberate.
Keep it moving. Stick left, I suppose. Actually, that might be bring, that might be bringing us in a circle. Let's not do that. Nice. Okay, we made it up two sets of stairs now. A long way to go before we get to that boss that crushed us last time. It's all right. Well, that took care of it. Really not getting XP for these battles. Elevator. I'll stick this way, I guess. Keep it moving. Hug left. Oh, not that way. Another battle? Not a bad stack. Hey, that 70s girl. What's up? I wouldn't have thought that you'd be on this early. Oh, whoops. I uploaded, um, I was uploading a TikTok. I have, I have it scheduled, not like it's not live yet of when you're helping me with that puzzle with the numbers in Silent Hill 3. That's pretty cool. You gave me a lot of help. Oh, shit, I didn't even see that thing. Okay, that was like 300 XP. That's something. That's something. We got here. A tool. Eh. Alright. I didn't think, oh wow, no dead end. I didn't think I'd be awake this early either. I was awake pretty late last night. Oh, what time did you go to bed? I 
I haven't gone to bed. I was mostly editing. I was like really behind in editing Silent Hill 3 and um, Parasite Eve videos, mostly like the shorts and TikToks, but a little bit of the main videos. So I scheduled a bunch of those. Um, mostly I really wanted to get that done so that I would be able to. Um, if I went left, I don't even remember. Oh no. I actually don't know which way I went already. That's kind of a problem, right? But yeah, I really wanted to just like make room on my computer. So I like really had to finish like finish what I had to do with that footage so I could delete well, delete it all. Um, a couple videos I couldn't upload just because like I was I guess I'm on my uploading limit or whatever for right now. But I got rid of most of that of that stuff. But now we're recording again. I also I was gonna put up uh, Halloween lights in my basement for um, when my friends come over to play D and D tonight. But I decided. Like I had, I got this like a, these adhesive like hooks to put. Like I was gonna put them like high up on my walls, but like I was reading how the hooks work and I was like thinking the logistics, like how it would look. And I was like, you know what? I think it would look kind of shitty. Oh, you don't even know it was well after midnight. What were you doing up so late? But yeah, I decided against it, so I ended up not even decorating. Um, I was gonna mop and um, sweep down here. I also didn't do that. So I, I wasn't very productive, really. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all those lights I was going to hang, and I think I'm, I'm going to hang them outside. So, that's my plan. What are you, uh, you going to do today? And all these floors right now that I'm 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 painstakingly trying to navigate, I've already beat all these. I beat all these already. But then I got the game over at the boss at the end. So you have to work at eleven. That's pretty far away. You were out? Oh okay. <laughs> if you don't wanna if you don't wanna um let everybody know what you're doing, that's fine, I guess. But inquiring minds want to know. I told you all about my night. <laughs> the, uh, I found what I found interesting was the Silent Hill videos that I did upload. While they didn't get a lot of views or anything, I did get, um, on TikTok, I did get a couple new followers and I like I snooped on their profiles and that you could see from their profiles. They're like big, big, like just like horror f like fanatics. So I think that's kind of cool. Oh, my God. Another wall. This is brutal. They should give you a map or something. A map would be awesome. Very easy to get lost in here. Turned around. No. I think this is the wall I just ran into. It's fine. We got it. We're, we're fine. We'll go right now. Which job are you doing at 11? I know you have multiple jobs. see we got another tool oh nice we got a uh, one of the special trading cards that's good 
and another tool. Ugh. One of the nursing ones, I have to leave a 10. Okay. Let's, um... We'll use that shit, the shitty power up. Actually, it's not even worth, it's not even worth it. In fact, this gun is so bad. Let's just throw this in the garbage. It's really just not useful. Let's just save the tools. All right, finish another floor. We're making good time. It just, it just meticulous and takes a long time to do this. Another battle. This XP is really ass. We've had many battles, and we still need over 3,000 XP to level. Alright. That's, that's a good item. Ugh, more tool. Let's uh, use a medicine. We'll use the bullet cap. Super tool, great item, fantastic item. It's like a regular tool, except it doesn't break down the item you use it on. So that's gonna be ideal for when we eventually replace our current gun with a better gun, with a gun with like better base stats. We'll be able to move over all of the upgrades, and we've done so many upgrades. We'll be able to move over all the upgrades from our current super upgraded gun to the new gun with better base stats. So, this thing's got big range. Keep it moving. Can't wait to see what it's like to face that boss again. See if I could take him on. I would imagine that now I can. Oh, they're doing zero damage to me. Actual zero damage. And I didn't even go that heavy in upgrading my defense. It was my mostly an upgraded attack. Only did a bare minimum on defense. All right, stick to the left. And a wall, of course. 
It's me. I wish I uh, uh, ran a little quicker. I'm just hyped to face this boss again. Go up. Elevator. Chrysler building is no joke. We'll go up. I think we've been on this floor for a while. Oh my god. Uh, if I go left, we might run in a circle. I guess we go up. Honestly, I probably should have went right. Oh, no. We made it out. Next level. Not really getting tons of good goodies on these uh these treasure rooms. So far in this run, the only like actually like really good items we got was the super tool and uh the one card, the one rare card. That's it so far. Another battle. There we go. Treasure room. We have a battle in here, I think. I just feel it. Oh, nope. Oh. Super tool, beautiful. Great item. CR of 8 plus 1. We'll just use that right now. That's critical rate of aid. Wow. That... Now that is a high base attack. A base attack of 81. Wow. That's huge. So how powerful would that be? If I switch my weapon to that, how powerful would that be? I'd be at like two I'd be at 241 base attack. Wow. And even even if I was to, to just break it down, it's a pretty good pretty good gun. That's what I should do. Should I break the should I try swap now? No. No. That's close though. That was so it was so good that it made me it made me consider it. No, we're gonna we're gonna break it down. We buffed up our uh, weapon that's been our our baby for a while. But had I had I been willing to invest in super, use my super tools and everything, I could have uh, had a, a weapon that would have had like 240, 240 plus damage, which is pretty damn nice. But that would have been a huge investment in items and stuff, and my super tools and stuff. So I decided not to.
I have a feeling that when I do level up, I have a feeling that I may have some nice BP to spend, which I'll probably be spending on damage. Well, actually, maybe I won't. Maybe I'll spend it on defense. I don't know. Leveling up in here does take forever, though. God damn. I haven't, I'm not even that close to halfway. To a level. We go up. Nice. Made it through another floor. We're slowly getting there. Very slowly. Oh, battle. Keep it moving. Another battle. These enemies are really struggling to put damage on me. Stick to the left. Treasure room. Let's see what we got in here. Offense plus one, decent. Tool, there. Um, not really very good. In fact, I'm probably, well, I've got all these tools. I guess I'll break it down, but pretty weak. All I got was a little bit of extra range from that. I'm using a tool M, the new shotgun, pretty weak. I'm sure it's better than the shock, the last shotgun I got, but like, Nowhere near good enough where I really want to use it. And, and I kind of felt that coming. But the offense plus one was okay. Not terrible. I wonder if it's possible for me to level before I uh, make it to the next to that boss to gain one level. I don't think so. 
Even if I grind like crazy, probably not possible. In the Chrysler building. Damn, this thing's big. Damn. Dead end. Next level. Another battle. Okay. Ah, oh, snake behind me. Ah, oh, crap. There's probably not any way for me to avoid taking damage here. Keep going down. Got bitch smacked. I got a long way to go to get a level. Jeez. Still not halfway. Well, stick to the left, I guess. I don't think I've gotten a treasure room yet on this floor. There's an elevator. Again, I need a key to access that. Oh, we got a treasure room. Type 64 rifle. Uh, it's surprisingly weak, but it has um, some nice stats to tool over. So it's actually pretty nice. Defense plus three. Oh, yes, please. Oh, hell yeah. Look at that. That's beautiful. And then, bam. Not bad. Not a bad treasure room. Not bad at all. Some nice little, nice little buffs there. And a dead end. Little buffs. You know, floor after floor, they, they add up. Yeah, 
Yeah, so when I face this boss, I'm just going to come in right away with a Liberate. And then we'll see where we go from there. But we're going to kick it off with Liberate right away. <sighs> Kicked my ass last time. I think we're still a few floors away, though. I haven't really been tracking what floor we're on, but I think we're still... We're probably around, like, 27, I'm going to say. And we got to get to 430 to face this uh, boss that absolutely wrecked us. It was horrible. All these easy enemies, floor after floor after floor, and then boom, a boss in my face. I mean, it is what it is, I guess. Oh, oh, look at this, up another floor. Okay. All right, we're getting, we're getting closer. Are we, are we there already? No. No. I was going to say. Didn't feel like we made it that many floors yet. But that setup kind of almost looked like a boss floor. Oh, God. Um. I guess let's go left first. Not oh, treasure room. I hope we've got another good one. Monster. All right. Just energy shot it. Should kill it in one shot, I'd imagine. 1268, is that enough? Yeah. We got like 300 XP there. Hell yeah. And a CM jacket that really isn't that great, but it does have, uh, it has auto potion and it has, um, a plus two to the PE, uh, defense. Hmm. I don't have any empty slots on this undress. Otherwise, I would grab that. But yeah, we'll just grab the, we'll just grab the stats. It's fine. So now I've got seventy PE defense. Not bad. Not bad. A little something. That end. Hopefully we'll get lucky and we'll get another stairs pretty soon. There's been a lot of uh, twists and turns and different corridors, but maybe we'll get lucky. Yep, another dead end. Shit. All right. I gotta try to remember which ways I've gone. The four way, I only went left and right. So we can try going up or down I think up yeah let's try up because going down we might we might find ourselves getting turned around and stuff was this the right choice it was not damn it battle Keep it going. I 
I guess we'll bang a left. Although this might be turning us around, potentially. Elevator? Wait, what? Hmm. Weird. I thought we already passed an elevator. I don't think there's multiple elevators. I don't think. Weird. Go down. This will go up. Come on. Do we make it? Yeah, buddy. Next floor. Maybe the next floor might be the boss floor, I'm thinking. battle um I'm not interested in that uh, wond wondrous defining Not interested in that. Battle time. Let's do it. It's difficult to make it through these battles without getting a hit, I notice. Even when I can one shot the enemies, it just. There's so many and they position around me and they're fast and like. Yeah. Elevator. Oh, we're the boss. This is a weird boss floor. Let's get right into the liberate, baby. Let's go. Liberate time. Wow, I'm doing 538 on hits on the Liberate. Oh my god, it's so much damage. I might knock him out of his first form with just the Liberate alone. Let's see. Did I? I bet I did. Yeah, I did. It was just so much damage. I'm blinded. Energy shot. E42. Wow. I don't, I'm down to one enemy. That's it. Well, I absolutely crushed him. 
I absolutely crushed him. Wow. Let me see what's on the other path, see if there's a treasure room there. That was honestly terrible. I can't believe that that boss kicked my ass last time. He was literally helpless against me there. Oh, it's, not, it's the treasure room. He was actually helpless. B jacket two. Um, it's not bad. Oh, it looks like it has protection from darkness. The jacket. I might want to hold on to that. Oh, we got a special trading card. That's excellent. What do we get here? Offense plus one. Let's just use it. All right. I think we're good. Let's um let's drop off the stuff that we don't need. Um then we have some keys we don't need. We've got um I mean hold on to that armor because of the darkness thing that it has. The resist darkness. The super tools, regular tools, all that stuff. Yeah, now we're gonna we're gonna take on floor uh, thirty one. I'm curious to see how much more powerful the enemies are on uh, this tier. Let's go. Really happy that we beat that boss. Liberate was so clutch against him. It absolutely annihilated him. Doing over 500 damage a clip with that multiple, multiple attacks of Liberate. Alright, back to the Precinct 17, the NYPD. I heard also when you win it, um, when you win the game, or when you beat the Chrysler building, you get like the true ending. So apparently that ending that we saw wasn't isn't like the true ending. Apparently. What floor do you think you'll play until this morning? I'm gonna at least try to get to 40. But depending on how long it takes, maybe I'll consider trying to get to 50. I don't know if that sounds too crazy. I felt real I felt really, really strong. Um Yeah, I, f I felt really, really strong. I I didn't feel like I barely won that fight. I felt like I completely dominated in that fight. So I feel comfortable. Continuing to go up. Price key. Trading card. I'll keep all these. Oh, I don't want this cure M. Get rid of this. Keep my soup my super tool. Chrysler key three, I probably have to have on me to use the elevator. All right, well, let's go. Oh, a uh, retired guy from um, my job uh, liked one of my videos. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Back to the Chrysler building. 
Back to floor 30. Oh, I didn't save it. Hold on. That's kind of important. I didn't save it. Especially important because if I get to the boss on floor 40, let's say, and I die, then I'll go, I'll be reset all the way back to floor 20 because if I didn't save it. Let's save. Extremely important. Yeah, I really feel, I really feel confident with how strong uh, Aya is right now. I feel like I should be able to beat the 440 boss. What, what actually really makes me feel good too is like my defense. So in that fight, I don't know if you noticed, not only did my health never get low, my health never went. It, it, this is where I look, this is where I'm at. My full health was not was 937. I wasn't at full health when the fight started. I was a little bit below full health and I'm at 917. So it, that boss basically didn't hurt me and it did hit me like once or twice. I did. I did get hit, but it basically wasn't damaging me. I, I just got that much stronger where I'm doing tons of more damage and then I'm able to endure tons more da more damage and my health is much higher. My health, I think my health was under 700 when I first uh, encountered that boss. And again, now I'm at 937, I think it was. All right, let's go back to 430. And now we're like 900 XP or so away from uh, leveling up as well. And this level up might be decent because of all the uh, battles we've been in. As far as like us getting a lot of BP. And BP are points you get like during your level, before you level up. Um, you get you get additional BP every time you win a battle where you don't take damage. And then you can take the BP and you can invest it in things. Um, generally, I invest it in attack power or defense, but you can also invest it in some other stuff as well. Like PE, like PE, de uh, PE defense um critical uh evade you could increase it in your attack time so like you go quicker and you could uh, add inventory space another thing you could do with your bp you could add like capacity for weapons range on weapons but all right let's see what these enemies are like on this floor Is that different music than Force 21 to 30? Let's see what we got. Oh, I think those things drop dunk drop junk. Oh well, they didn't this time. If they do drop it, those two didn't. Yeah, it's different music. Stick to the left. Let me turn this up a little bit. I don't think I've heard this tune in any of the game before. I don't think. Maybe. Dead end. Hmm. Oh, we got an encounter. What the fuck is that thing? Oh, this. Okay. Um, 
Which way did I come from? I honestly have no idea. Well, we'll go up and pray, I guess. This could very well be the wrong way. Uh, oh, did I pass an elevator? I, might, I don't even know. I definitely didn't pass the treasure room. Monster time. Wow, that did a lot of damage to me. Kevlar armor. 70 base defense. Whoa. Whoa. 70? What's the base defense on the armor I have now? 45. So wow. So we're talking we're talking a 25 armor increase. 20 I have I'd have 25 more armor. 42 31. Yeah, I mean, that's just a huge. So hold on. I mean, I mean, I'm, I'm upgrading. Honestly. Because the, um, it even has the same abilities. It actually has the same exact abilities as my current armor. I don't have a tool. When I find a tool... Alright, let me switch back then. When I, when I find a tool, I'm gonna break down my sundress, um, and give all those stats to this new armor. And, I, and the abilities that my sundress has, the new armor already has. So, I, I, could, I could break it down and destroy it, and it's fine. Use a regular tool. And I'll have a, ni I'll have a nice buffed up, uh, defense. That's going to be sweet. Wow. They say there's good stuff in the Chrysler building. They ain't lying. Oh, 432, I think. Got to find myself a tool now. Damn. Battle. We're getting close to level one up. All right, keep it moving. left I want to find a treasure room and a tool there's a treasure room all 
Only two boxes, though. It's like a demon parrot. Really? A monster in the room and then a monster in a chest? A little much, no? Well, energy shot it. Level up! Oh, we got nice bonus points. Hell yeah. Let's um invest in this BP. I think we'll do uh, P energy, I think. Look at that. Some nice P energy uh defense. And I think I'll leave P ener P energy alone for a while now. Oh, it says I have a tool. So we're gonna tune, tune up the KV armor. Oh. Now it's saying that, that my KV armor doesn't have anything. Huh. I guess I'll hold off. And now it's saying my KV armor doesn't have doesn't have sweet stuff. Hmm, that's weird. I'm gonna take a nap before I, I have to get ready for work. I hope you're able to defeat the next boss on the first try. Thanks, 70s girl. That was really nice of you to say that. I appreciate it. Get get some rest, get some sleep. That was really nice. That end. Yeah, so what I might do actually is I might look for other armors that I have in my storage that give me those nice buffs and um, slap those buffs on my new armor and, and break those down instead of wasting super tools. I, th I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm not sure which way I came from. That's not great. I think I came from the north. So hopefully I can get through this uh, current boss with uh, what I have. I, th I should be fine. I feel strong. Nice. Uh, I believe this puts us on Treasure room. We have four four boxes in here. Beautiful. Medicines. No, I don't. Max HP is probably, uh. Whoa, wow. Base attack 75 is pretty good. 
That's pretty good. And really no good buffs for um breaking this down. So let's hold on to this. Maybe we might want to upgrade our gun with that tool. Okay, we'll use that. We'll cure. All right, so now my gun has 30 rounds. It's pretty sweet. That end. Really doing pretty well. Stick to the left. Elevator. Battle. No junk, huh? Nice. I believe this brings us to floor 34, I'm going to say. I hope I'm not going to kick myself for not um, making those swaps on my... Now that I have a better weapon and better armor. I just I need to invest items to, to prepare them and I don't have the items on me. So I hope I'm not going to get punished for that. Cause then I can break them down and really, you know, really make some nice pieces of equipment. We're moving forward.
Another treasure room. CM suit. Not very good, but what is that? What is that ability that it has? Like, what is that? High defense and strong against SA. Auto cure to remove status. Ooh. Well, that's pretty useful. All right, we'll hold on to that for that. A tool. Okay. We'll recover. Okay. Yeah, we'll hold on to it for that. That could that could come in handy. Yeah, but I don't really have, I don't think I have the items for that. I'm sure it uses consumable items. Damn. Yeah, so that actually might not be that great. What is up, Zamoff? Zamoff GG, hey yo. We're in the post game for Parasite Eve. It's a dungeon of 70 so yeah, 77 floors. Every floor is a maze with um, a map that uh, basically just generates randomly. There's no map. So there's no way to know where I'm going. And every 10 floors, difficulty increases. On every floor. Oh, you've done this before. Okay. Yeah, I heard that when you beat this, you get like a true ending. So otherwise, I probably wouldn't have tried to tackle this. But I love RPGs and I'm a sucker for extra content like that. Like a, like a I think you might even get a unique FMV. For beating this i think so I, I can't really skip that i kind of have to do it if this is just like a whatever uh dungeon with like some loot or whatever i probably would skip it but i mean also has like like special like ultimate bosses and stuff so i, I don't know i probably still would have wanted to it's just really difficult for me to skip stuff like that I haven't completed it, but it's a marathon. How far have you got? And have you ever heard of the level 38 trick? Because I did try to uh, farm junk to get a junk weapon. I gave up on that. It was taking too long, but I did. I did do the level 38 trick. It's been a while. Yeah. I got to the floor 30 boss and got my ass kicked uh, yesterday. So I went back and, gr and started grinding and I read that once you hit. So like most games, right? Every level that you get. Wait, am I just, did I just go back down the stick? I just went back down the stairs. Oh my God. Every level that you get the next level, the XP requirement increases like exponentially, right? So I think it was like to get from level 32 to 33, I needed like 30,000 XP, which which is a lot. But I found this I found like the really good grinding spot in the museum, this big room with a red carpet where in the battle battles, you get like probably between like five and six K XP a, a battle. So as long as you can get into battles, you can kind of get the XP pretty quick. So from getting from level 32 to level 33, like I said, it was about 30,000 XP or so. Then from 33 to 34, it was like 60. 34 to 35 was like 90, and it kept going up. And I think it was like almost 200 XP I needed to get from 30 to 7 to 38. But the trick is that the way that this game is designed with the encounter rates and whatnot, it's not really meant for you to get the high leveled. Most people beat the game at like level 35 or so, maybe even lower. Once you hit level 38, to get to level 39 and every level after that, it's only a, like a, around 4,000 XP, a little more than that. So that's why I got from level 32 from when I, I got my ass kicked on the level the 430 boss last time to grind it to level 62. 
No. The, uh, no. So, it's a good question. My understanding is that the enemies in the Chrysler building never get stronger, no matter what you do. They never get stronger. But and if you do um, repeated playthroughs and you do repeated uh, X game runs, the enemies keep getting stronger up to a certain point, up to like your fourth or fifth run. I think they keep getting stronger and stronger and stronger. But this, the Chrysler Builder, the Chrysler building never changes. So but that is a good question. Because that would kind of defeat the purpose. Um, I might tool up. I think I'm going to tool up my gun. Oh, actually, no. I guess it's not worth it. Yeah. Oh, did I, did I leave a chest open? Yeah, so I, I did a lot of research. In, after I died yesterday, I did a lot of research into... um. I, I probably left this here into like how to how to actually beat this entire building. I, I, t I intend to clear it. When I complete games, I don't always do everything you could do in a game, but when I'm enticed with like awesome end game content and stuff like that, I, I usually stick around. There's um, a game called, I'm sure you're familiar with the Dragon Quest series. Dragon Quest VI, after you beat the game, there's like so much post-game stuff you could do. And there's this bonus dungeon in that game that has these ridiculous requirements just to even enter the dungeon. You have to do, you basically have to like, have at least one of your characters, I think max out every single class in the game or something like that. It's something like really, 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 really heavy requirements just to enter into the dungeon. Oh my God, dude, this is wow. Okay. But I did, I did all that. And then when you beat the fight, like the, the, the secret bosses dungeon and you beat, or you beat the secret dungeons boss, that boss is like all impressed with you and he transports you. He teleports you to the final the regular final story boss and then those two bosses like have a duel and they battle and it changes the ending a little bit it's pretty cool um i probably spent like 25 to 30 hours in the post game in dragon quest 6. uh just recently pikmin 4 came out for the switch i know it's not an rpg but um same thing with that game like i beat them i beat the main story yeah it's the, it's actually a really awesome scene when um the two bosses duel it's like it's not real quick it's not like like a like a one or two lines it's like a whole drawn out thing there's like a bunch of dialogue then he transports you and they have like a full boss battle where like you see from the perspective of this bonus boss from him having like the first person perspective as he fights the story boss and he kills the story boss it's really really awesome um a lot of people say that's not a good game dragon quest 6 but i i, I liked it a lot um, but yeah, Pikmin 4, same thing. Like, I beat the main story. It took me, it took me a pretty long time. But then after I beat it, I spent another, shit, I don't know, 20 hours probably doing post-game stuff. I didn't do, and I didn't even do every single thing you could do in that game. There was, like, there's this one, like, uh, set of challenges that I, I decided not to complete. I was, like, kind of struggling with it. It didn't seem like there's a lot of reward in doing it. So I just, there's one set of challenges I didn't do. But I still spent like 20 hours on post game. Epion! What's up, buddy? You didn't miss anything. Uh, yesterday I got to floor 30 and I coasted. I coasted. Then I fought. Oh, I appreciate it. I'll follow. I'll follow you too. Well, when the stream's over, I'll follow you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I got to the um, I got to the floor thirty boss, and for whatever reason, he absolutely spanked me. I don't know what happened. I, I couldn't. I couldn't do anything. He kept blinding me. 
and I I couldn't charge my PE. Like I was just I ran through all my uh, healing items really quick. I used two revives. It was just it was terrible. So I did the level thirty eight trick, and I I power leveled up to sixty two. Did a bunch of upgrades. I I obviously unlocked uh liberate. So I should be so I easily beat the level 30 boss when I fought him. He only I think he only took like 20 HP off me in the whole fight. Oh, what is this? Oh, eh. No, I don't really care about that. I'll actually break that down. I have a couple guns that I want to use to um to swap out. They have like really good base stats. Nice, another card. Hell yeah, I got. I think I got two cards in this room. Oh wow, this and this armor has fantastic base stats too. Is that better than the other armor I have? Cause I picked up this this KV armor that's great. Seventy, sixty-eight, thirty-two. Wow, this new armor I just grabbed is actually even better. Wow. Okay. By the way, KV is Kevlar. I kind of figured, but who knows? What is the other one? Is the CM or whatever? Is that was that ceramic? Oh, it's chem. Okay. Oh, CR ceramic. Okay. Relearn that in the instruction booklet. I I have the instruction booklet, but I have not opened it. Man, dead end? Really? Remember it from the guide. Okay. Yeah, so we got two. We have a new gun and new armor that we're gonna uh, swap. We're gonna swap out our old stuff with once I once I go back and use tools to break down. I want to break down to get my abilities and everything that I need. You know, I want to try to avoid using super tools if possible. I don't have that many super tools. I forget which way I went, so hopefully I can figure out how to find floor 35. I think I, I think I came from up there. I'm really, I really don't know. I really don't know where I came from. I'm, I'm kind of lost. Oh, there. Oh, we found it. Floor 35. All right. How would you say that the floor 40 boss compares to the floor 30 boss? The 30 boss was very tough the first time I fought him. No junk, huh? Oh, I'm so ready. I'm so ready to, to get it on here. I'll stick to the left. Wow. Interesting, uh, hallway design. Come on, bring us to 436. Bring us up. I'm ready. I'm ready for it. Okay, what we got here? This guy again. Uh-oh.
Hmm. Uh, pfft, I guess I'll go up, I guess. Now, if I go up and left, that might actually take me in a circle. I might not want to do that. Actually, let me go down. Yeah, I might, I might go in a circle doing this. Go down. Nope, dead end. Let's try going right. I can't wait to get back to the police station. And actually get new, brand new weapon and armor for the first time in so many hours of gameplay. I've just been upgrading the same stuff for so long. But finally, the base stats of this stuff is so good. I'm just like heavily encouraged, like heavily encouraged to switch. It's just the good stuff's so great. I thought we were hitting 436 there. Damn. I would have been hyped. We could do this. We could do it. Right now, the difficulty isn't. I guess I. Ah, man, I guess I'm going up. Right now, the difficulty isn't in. Um. Defeating enemies, it's in figuring out how the hell to get to the next floor and not getting lost. Elevator. I'm sure as we ascend, the actual enemies will start to threaten me. Oh no, I think I went this way already. Shit. I think I've already gone this. I think I think I mm, I think I went in a circle. Ugh. Well. Not ideal. Uh, this is definitely not taking me in a circle. Going this way. Let's try going up. Come on, baby. Come on, 436. 436. Please. Please. Boom! 436. Got a little battle. Our XP gain is so low here. It's honestly not that much different from as far as I can tell. It's not that much different from um, the fours on the 20s. I shouldn't be going this way actually but I guess we're already committed but it's inconsistent with how we're usually navigating these tunnels so it might confuse us if this is the wrong way this is, might confuse us all right under 3k now to uh, get to the next level it's something I guess another battle Wow okay Yeah, I think I'm gonna invest in damage with my BP and next level. I've been going heavy into defense and uh, PE defense. Um, let's stick to the left here. Ah, nah. That's gonna take us in a circle. Let's stick right. Might regret this. Ooh, treasure door. Hell yeah.
Nice. Special trading card. And we got a battle. I don't think there's any other... No, there's no other chests in here. It's okay. Yeah, this game's got the mimics. They're pretty strong, too. Oh, revive. That's a great item. Wow. It's a great item. Excellent. I don't mind that. Damn, dead end. Damn it. <sighs> what do you think, Epion? You think I'm going to be able to do it? You think you think I'll, I'll be able to be powerful enough to um, beat this entire dungeon? I have the patience as well to make it through. Oh no, you don't think I'm strong enough? Okay. I feel strong. Gonna lurk, but I'll be here. Good luck. Thank you. I appreciate the lurk. Thank you. Definitely. I'm actually very close. Not that it's really that big of a deal, but I'm very close to affiliate right now. I have everything except I'm like decimals short on average viewers. Just des I'm just decimals off. And I'll, and I'll hit it. Once I, I hit it, I'll be at uh, affiliate. Which might seem weird with such small viewer, like viewer, um, followers and stuff with all the small numbers but that's what that's what the twitch uh analytics says it says i'm there that we've been walking a long time without finding 437. I think I think I'm gonna go this morning till I get to till I get to 50. All right, 4:37. And then I bet it's gonna start to get really hard. But on a positive note, we're about to swap out and get some better base equipment for the first time in so many hours of gameplay. I think I acquired my current gun in like day three of my first playthrough. And I think I acquired my current armor maybe day five of my first playthrough. So yeah, it's been a while. Stick to the left. And a dead end. And now we're on a linear we're on a linear path. There's no forks right for the time being. And another battle.
I don't know if I don't know if that breaks my BP gain if I get hit for zero. It probably does. But it'd be cool if it didn't. Because in a battle, if you get hit, uh, or rather, if you don't get hit, then you get extra BP when you level up. So getting hit for zero, I'm not sure if that counts or not. It probably counts as getting hit. Oh, treasure room. It's pretty cool that I'm so strong that a lot of these enemies can't hurt me with most of their attacks. It does count as getting hit? Yeah, I'm not surprised. Defense plus one is an excellent item. Well, not excellent, but it's fine. Nice and a good trading card. Sierra so Vade plus one's good. Not a bad treasure room. Uh, let's ditch a uh, medicine. And we got a handgun with fantastic base stats. Fantastic base stats, but we're not using handguns. But, wow, those base stats are nice. So let's do this. Let's tune up. We're gonna get rid of this handgun. And let's use the defense plus one on our sundress. And we got a CR evade, I know, as well. Where is it? Oh, here. We'll use the CR evade as well. There we go. Some minor buffs for us. But that handgun stats were great. I believe this puts us on floor 38. If I'm not mistaken. Which is wonderful. Yeah, we're, we're getting there. We're, we're getting close to the next boss. We're going to liberate right away. And we're going to go from there. I wonder when I start hitting uh, unique bosses, like new new bosses unique to Chrysler building. I know they're in here. I haven't seen any yet. I think there's not that many. I think there's only a couple, like actual unique bosses. Oh, damn, I didn't want to take that. Oh yeah, this one or 50, you get unique boss. And there, there's And there's more though too, right? Where's my, where's the cure? Where's that cure M? Oh, here it is. There's three. Nice. Is that including or not including the final boss? Or is the final boss just a souped up version of like Eve or something? Three unique bosses. That's awesome. That's awesome. Including her. Okay. Okay. Yeah, hopefully I'll get one here. I bet I have to fight that annoying crab guy from the warehouse again. I hate that boss. But I did get kind of used to his patterns and stuff. We just got two chests. That's pretty weak. Range plus one. Eh. Maverick shotgun. Wow. That's some nice... That's a powerful little shotgun, huh? Okay. Yeah, but there's no point really in um tooling it up. It doesn't. It just gives me a little bit of range. I'm gonna. I'm, I might just ditch. It. Eh, I'll just hold it for now. It's pretty pretty strong base stats on that bad boy. Come on, let's find 439. Let's do it. Oh, we might have already found it. Nah, damn. Maverick shotgun. Is that is that the best shotgun in the game? It's not a junk shotgun? Or nah? 
Probably not. Uh, I'm only actually not. Nah, I'm sure it's not. I'm only a 437 or 38. I'm sure it's not the strongest shotgun. It's just way better than any shotgun I've seen yet. Like way better. This is really good. All right. Under 2K to the next level. That's nice. Oh, what? How are we at the boss already? Based on my math, we're, we should be two floors short. I mean, all right, let's go. That's weird. We're here. I don't recognize that thing. Yeah, I don't recognize that. I think it's a new boss. Will that boss get a chance to do anything when I liberate? Don't know. Four ninety four, four ninety four, four ninety four. Super tricer ah, uh, triceratops boss. All right, so it's not so that's not really a unique boss then. Four ninety four. Did it survive that? Oh, uh, the horns fell off, but it's still alive. This thing could take a beating. Oh, it's dead. Level up. Decent BP. It's decent. It, it was hitting me. It was hurting me a little bit, but when you look at how much health I actually lost... It probably hit me like six times and look at my health. I didn't heal. All right, we're going to go straight into uh, more damage. 206 to 217. Let's go. And then it's going to go up a lot more because I'm going to. Um... Mm, I got to find the elevator. Yeah, it's gonna go up much more because I'm gonna um swap out my guns and stuff. And I'm gonna be doing way more damage. And I'll be way like more uh defensible and stuff. Yeah, 40th floor boss down. We're gonna go for the 50. What's my defense at? It's pretty good. Um I got 144 base defense. I got 89. I've, I've actually poured quite a bit into my uh, P, PE defense. I read that, but it's like basically you're like defense against like magic attacks. So I have 89 PE de defense. It's a plus 47 modifier. It's not bad. Yeah. Yeah, I, f I feel like my defense is pretty good. I'm actually, I'm actually surprised that Triceratops boss was even hitting me as hard as it was. Because that 430 boss was doing, like, negligible damage to me. <clears throat> oh my god. Uh, I gotta find this damn elevator. 
So keep in mind, I've got to go down um, at the fork to get to the stairs. Here we go. So we go back and we're going to see what items I have because I, I want to try to uh, try to avoid using super tools if possible. And we're going to actually get new new equipment for the first time in forever. How many uh, of those special cards do I need for 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 the uh, Wayne to accept them? Because I've I've quite a few now. I probably have like close to ten. Probably enough for a toolkit. All right, I'll see if I'll see if he'll t accept them. Twelve is a super toolkit. Yeah, and then you have infinite a super tool. That, that's gonna be nice. All right. I mean, I have a lot of tools anyway, but. Actually, let's go with the store item. I don't need Chrysler Key 3 anymore, I don't think. I got a lot of these trading cards. I think that might be it, though. All these medicine and fours. All right, that's it. Oh, nope, I didn't have enough. Not enough. I'm probably like, I'm probably close. I'm probably like one off or something. Let's store them all here. That's fine. Now we'll now we'll do the um start moving all my items over or moving all my uh stuff over to upgrade my new equipment. Damn those tools. Hey, Miss Firing, Miss Furring, you could use most of them for stats. Yeah, I've been doing that, but it's very neg negligible because I noticed when you get new equipment, usually the modifiers they have on them is like you have like a plus one damage, plus zero range, plus one capacity. And like, that's it. Like It's a very small, like you get very small amounts of um uh, buffs. Grab a couple tools, try to make some nice, nice, nice equipment right now. Yeah, but 20 of those buffs is big. Oh, absolutely. Oh, it definitely adds up. No doubt about that. I agree with you. All right, so we need to find... Oh, it doesn't tell me. Okay. Well, that's going to be annoying. I guess let's do armor first. So I need armor. I need to find, like, um, light health up I want. I want... Poison resist. Let me sort this too. Right, 
Let's see how that is. Oh, I can tune up from here. Oh, well. Oh, okay. That makes things a little easier, huh? So what we want... This SP armor is so good. So this is darkness resist, auto potion... Here we go, so poison, so we want this. We'll put this on our SP armor. Okay. Good. Now we want life up. HP up. Oh, looks like I don't have it. Hmm. So I'm gonna have to super tool. Oh, really? Poison resist is bad? Oh. Well, the poison was fucking me up before. Alright. Let's see if we can- let's see if we can find some, uh, poison resist instead, then. Or darkness resist instead. Oh, we got it right here. Hmm. Well, I guess there's nothing I can really... I mean, I've, I've already done it. So I lost my... the health upgrade. Oh, that's pretty negligible. Oh no, I didn't I didn't switch I didn't swap the equipment yet. And go up to six slots. I don't have that many cards though. Like I really don't have a lot of cards. Let me see. I got I've got a mob permit still. Use the rare cards? But I thought if I use the if I use the rare cards, then isn't that gonna mess isn't that gonna mess me up? Oh, Wayne gets them by me using them? Is that what you're saying? I didn't know that. Huh. Really? I did I did not know that. Okay. Well, in that case, let's do that. I had no idea that's how that worked. There are hidden rewards. I found all rare cards. There are 14 in total. Yeah, you got like infinite tools and infinite super tools, I think, right? That I knew, I just didn't know. I thought I just had to have enough of them so that he would just take them. Oh wait, hold on. What was the what was the item that I wanted to tune up? It's the SP armor that I want to tune up. Where the hell is it? Where's the, where's the SP armor? Oh, here it is. It's not like me. Well. That's why you don't need to save normal tools. You get infinite tools 
after 450 if you use all the rare cards you found. Why is it letting me tune up? It's not letting me. Hmm. Choose a card first. Oh. Mama Mia, this one's a one of a kind T card. You're a babe, Haya X. Oh, cool. All right, so we want to upgrade. We want to do this one. Add slot. Okay. Look at that. Do it. We'll do it one more time. Yeah, she wasn't a baby before that card. A babe. That's pretty funny. Four slots is probably f plenty, right? So now... Max it out? I mean, it's not like it's going to be an end game. Am I going to have access to more cards? For my other equipment? All right, I guess we'll do it. Okay. You don't need to swap this armor until after 470? Wow. Oh, I'll try I'll trust you on that. What am I gonna do with all these slots? All right, it's full. Now I got to find things to put on it. Uh, so I, I could do auto potions. The 40 and up surprises are going to start. What does that mean? Uh, it's a remove status. I don't know if I really want that. I mean, I've got, I have a lot of slots. Maybe I should. Yeah, we use medicine when uh, we'll do this. All right, so we got the auto potion. Take the plus one inventory. Yeah. Okay. Which item does that? SV protector has it. Auto men makes you need to care less. I like it. <laughs> SV protector I want. All 
All right, and I need the HP up. But that's that HP up is on my sundress. So I think I need to use a uh what you call it? I use a super tool. Yeah. And now I think I'm good to just break down my sundress now. Let's see how powerful. So I'm, I'm going to go from a 144 defense, 89 uh, P energy, to 174 defense, 117. Look at that piece of armor, baby. Whoa. That is nice. And I need one more ability. Is it worth it to get the, uh, the auto remove status thing? Is that worth it? I feel like it's not because I don't really carry those items around. I can get another. I can get another inventory thing. Low priority. Yeah, I can get another inventory thing. And that's all I really have available to me. Should I grab the inventory? I guess. Effect already exists. I can't. So actually, there's actually nothing else I can get on this. Uh, they don't stack. Yes, yeah, so there's nothing else I can get right now. That's fine. If I find something, if I find something later, I'll do, we'll do that. But now, okay, so we did that, but now we have to upgrade our weapon. Yeah. Uh-huh. Buff your gun. Oh yeah. All right. So the gun that we want is this PSG, right? It's a rifle. Yeah. With 75 base attack. That's what we want. So let's see if we can tune it up first off. You find the AM forty four handgun. If I if I did, I broke it down. It's a great weapon with eight slots. Um, I know Epion and others have recommended I not use the handguns no matter what. So anytime I found a handgun, even I found some handguns with awesome stats. But I always just broke, I always broke them down right away. Slots full. Okay, we don't have to worry about that. So tune up. So I use gun. We have we we need the super tools to get all that stuff. But what we got? So I can take from the Maverick. I could take this. I could take the burst spray. I feel like I have shotguns. Plenty of shotguns in here. Yeah, I think that's a shotgun. Yeah, so we'll take the burst. They're trolling. The handgun is the best in the game due to faster ATB. Oh, I thought you guys were saying not to use it. Because every 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 handgun I got, I broke down and, and didn't even... I, I, I got some handguns in the Chrysler building already that were like, had awesome stats. And I just... I just... broke them down for like a plus one. All right. So we got our burst. What else can we get? So acid, quick draw. Mm. What else is what else is gonna have? Oh, command, command two, acid. Okay. All right. Let's see. That's cold. Heat. Here's a quick draw on the PPK. So we'll grab that.
Uh, let's see. Rifles only advantages range, and the Chrysler building don't have a big area. You want the double command, the rest can be found from other guns. Okay. So I'll, I'll only super tool that then. Let's get the command. Super. All right, let's see what kind of stat increase we're gonna get here. I'm excited for this. So we're gonna go from a, so I use gun head what? Oh, it doesn't show us? Okay, so we're, we had a 217 attack. And we're gonna go from that. I don't think I don't know if I have more acid. I, I, I might not. I might not have more acid. Hold on. Before I break this gun down, let me let me check. Is acid worth? Is acid worth having? It's it's it has seem it seemed like decent so far. I wouldn't say it's like been incredible, but it seemed decent. See if any other guns have it. Oh uh, yeah, this gun has it. It's okay on some enemies. Would you recommend I get it or nah? Or should I save a slot for something different? I'm just gonna grab it. Take it for now. Right, I'll grab it. All right, we got our acid. All right. Almost done. I use gun. So, we're going to go from 217 attack. You'll swap to another gun soon enough. Yeah, you think that quick? I haven't switched to guns since day three in my first playthrough. I've had the same gun. All right, ready? 217, two... 450 will destroy you if you use a slow weapon like a rifle. Really? Uh-oh. I've been tossing handguns away like crazy. Actually, hold on. What do I have in my inventory? I might I might have I might have a um I might have a uh handgun in my inventory. No, it looks like I don't. I must have broke it down. Okay. All right. Here it comes. That's not true. I've beaten the game with handguns, rifles, and once with a shoddy. No worries. End game, you want a machine gun for the final boss. Really? I've heard bad things about them, but I, I haven't really tried them. All right, so 217 attack, two... Two fifty two. Oh, my goodness. Two fifty two. Giant, giant, giant upgrade in my attack and defense. That is nuts. Let me drop off. Just drop off crap. That was crazy. Off the Maverick. I got more armor. I'm so much stronger. And then store items. Move the cards. That's it. Let's go save. And then off to floor 41. 
Uh, machine guns are good for a handful of bosses. Machine guns are bad initially, but with the right mods, they're unmatched. Really? Now use most of the tools to stack up some stats. Oh, okay. All right, let's do that before we save then. Find some with attack. Okay. I use all those tools. I got so many guns and armors. Okay, let's, let's do that. Tuna. All right. Storage. Here we go. Uh, doesn't really even ha doesn't really even have any abilities. Use a tool. M seventy nine's gone. Tuna. Storage. M500. Oh, look at, look at those beautiful stats. Hell yeah. Storage. A couple of these cold guns. Ooh, look at that. That's a plus two. Let's use that one. From here on, you want to steadily increase. Okay. Should I, should I worry about defense or should I really be focusing on attack here? Oh, so a plus two. That's our cold. More attack. Okay. Micro Uzi with a little, little plus two action. Four sixty onwards, you'll get two shotted either way. Really, the enemies are that powerful? Oh well, well, I don't like the way that sounds too much. Really. Oh, whoops. Uh, we're we're doing we're doing a lot of upgrading here, not gonna lie. Uh, up to 440, it's easy. 450 onwards is the difficult part. We're gonna be on. We're gonna be on 50 pretty soon. Uh no more. This is our, I think it's our last plus two item. All right, we'll we'll do plus ones. It's fine. Or should, you know what? Let's go to let's start going to armor. Let's do some armor. Let's see if there's just see if there's any plus two armor sitting around. Here's a here's a plus two. Oh, I just was that plus eight? Why do I have a plus eight armor here? I mean, okay. Weird, but I'll take it. Can't wait to see when you find the squirrels. I've heard you mention the squirrels a lot of times, but I don't know why. Another plus two. You probably used some buff items on it. Yeah, must have been from so long ago. 
No more plus twos. Alright, so I'm gonna go back I'm gonna go back to just doing uh damage. Since now there's no more plus twos to get. All the all the good stuff's gone. All the good stuff's gone. We used all of it. We're almost out of tools. I should probably save some, right? Yeah, let's save a couple tools. We'll do one more. What is that? Oh, tranquilizer? Let me let me save that. I don't want to waste that right now. I've never even tried it. I've heard I heard it's good for like your first playthrough, I heard. That was my last tool. Well, we'll find more. 277 attack, 187 defense. Wow. Our stats are bonkers. I gotta start heading to work. I'll be on for I'll be on for a bit longer. Oh no. I'm, I'm probably going to play until I get to 450, and then I'm probably going to go to bed. Nightmare, Nightmare Parasite Eve 1, they appear from floor 60 onwards. Yeah, we're going to get to 450, and then uh, I'm playing D&D &D tonight. I'll probably be playing until like midnight or like a little later. So I'll probably be on after that. And I'll be trying to get us. Oh, I got to save and I'll be trying to get as far as I can get. Yep, yep. In case, in case I die at the 450 boss, which I'm, I could, you know, potentially. Yo, I feel strong right now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tear through these floor 40 or 50 enemies. I'm gonna tear through them. I gained, I gained two levels since the last time I came into the uh, Chrysler building. I feel, I feel strong. I'm ready. Does Parasite Eve 2 have the weapon modding like this? I know Parasite Eve 3 or third birthday or whatever i know that's like heavy with weapon like weapon mo modifications but it's like a bad game but i never really heard anything about how the weapons work in two because while at first i didn't like the system and found it overwhelming it's actually pretty simple and pretty good and like the only it's really the only deep thing about the combat in this game well i mean not the only thing Damn it. Let's go. Parasite Eve 2 is a very different beast. Only specific weapons have attachments. Hmm. So then you would say that the weapon system in that game is a lot more simplistic then. It doesn't really get not as cuffs like customizable. I'm pretty sure I have to go down to get to the stairs. No, each weapon is unique and has their own cases. Okay. You know, normally I would say that I prefer it that way, but I am starting this this system's starting to grow on me. Like just now what we did when I upgraded all my stuff, that was very, very fun. That was very enjoyable. Each weapon type also has three ammo types. Yeah, this game should have had different ammo. Oh, like how Resident Evil, there's like acid rounds and fire rounds and shit like that in like Resident Evil 2 and 3. And I think in Zero.
Here we go. Floor 41. Curious to see if the boss of the regular enemies are hard, if they actually give me XP, if they give me junk. Let's go. Stick to the left. And a dead end. Treasure room already. Hell yeah. I kind of hope I don't get an up upgrades already because I just invested so much in the stuff I just got. B suit. Um, what's that thing in the bottom left? Oh, it must be like resist, like uh, when they in, like mess with your movement. It's probably not that useful. Oh, we got an enemy. And a revive, beautiful. You can cure poison with the detox spell and counter paralysis with the haste spell. Oh, I know the haste stopped paralysis. I didn't know the haste did that. Yeah, but it takes it takes your turn and takes PE, which obviously isn't great. When I when I lost to the to the 430 boss, um, P was my big issue. That and I kept getting blinded. But my P was like just always low, and that boss I was just, felt like I was just always on my back foot. You know, it's very difficult when it's split into four parts. It's very difficult for me to avoid getting blinded and avoid uh, it hitting me. Come on, let's find floor 42. Let's find it. I'm ready. There we go. Floor 42. I don't know. I don't know, Miss, uh, Miss Fire. Is it Miss, uh, Miss Fire? I don't know misfiring. I don't think that, um, I don't think I'm going to lose to anything in this Chrysler building for 430. Just keep sticking to the sides for the first phase. After it splits, just avoid the tail. That's the part that can blind. Okay. Yeah, I kept getting blinded over and over. It was actually, it went terrible and it was dealing like 180 damage to me about every time it hit me. And I only had like 670 HP. So it was very, it was a very, very brutal fight. But then when I, I grinded all the way to level 61 or whatever, and I came back and it was like a joke. A scorpion is a regular enemy? Really? That's surprising. Oh, well, I guess you know what? I guess you fight, I guess you fight these in the museum as regular enemies. Yeah, I guess it's fine. All right now we're looking for floor 43. I think we could do this. I think we could do this. What the hell's that? Oh, I've I think I've seen that before. Oh, that was like a solid 400 XP. That's not too bad.
Uh, well, I never grind. I usually finish the final boss at level 36. Yeah, I've read that. That's fine. You could do that. I read like really the thing you need to do is get liberate, which I think is like level 33, right? I really like I read that. That's really what you need. And when I lost to level 30 boss, I didn't have I was I was level 32. I didn't have liberate. So I'm sure that didn't help. Because liberate is my first unlocked liberate and tried it i was shocked at how incredibly overpowered it was got a new gun what is that ability what is that counterattack counterattack that sounds pretty good Uh, liberate is actually useless. You want to keep PE for haste? Really? And then end your weapons do more damage than liberate. Well, right now, liberate is great. But I could see how later it might not be. And then, uh, I don't want counterattack. Why not? What's wrong with it? Ooh, what's that? Look at that plus four item space on the SV Armor 1. I definitely want to save that and, you, and use that, um, use that on something later. That's really nice. Do this. Counterattack sucks because you have no control. You just stand there countering when an enemy is hitting you. Oh, that sounds bad. All right, that makes sense. Okay, so then we won't use that then. So let's just let's just break this fucking thing down. Get rid of it. Oh, actually, it doesn't even give me any. It doesn't even give me anything. Let's just throw it away. Gone. Take the plus four inventory. I don't think I have a space. I don't think. Let me check. I think I'm. I think I maxed out the slots. check though oh no I can and my SG armor will be lost yeah it's fine look at that hell yeah it'll replace the plus one open haste Liberate, then engage the fight. Oh, haste, then liber then liberate. Okay. So right now, liberate does a lot of damage, but I could see what you're saying. Like maybe in the late game, I'll do so much damage where liberate won't won't matter. But like, in the last boss, it was doing like 500 damage a hit, which is a lot, and it hits however many times, like eight times or whatever. Pure numbers, it's worse than your gun. But also, the enemies can't react to it. So there's a lot of value in that. You know? They just sit there and get hit. My energy my energy blast move, that does 1,400 damage now. Which is also pretty nice. But it freezes for free damage. Yeah, it's fan that's great. It's fantastic. They can't do anything. Yeah, but then stun. Yeah, and you stunned you for a little bit. That's true. That's a big. That's a big drawback, and you'll get beat on a little bit. Are we still on like floor forty-two? Are we on forty-three? I think we're at forty-three. I feel like we've been on this floor for a really long time. I'm actually getting a little bit of XP finally, though. I've never taken issue with it. I mean, I've taken damage from being stunned after using Liberate or the Energy Shot. But it's never really, like, really punished me. But I think this puts us on floor 44, if I'm not mistaken.
Depends on you. Okay. Do make sure to find all the storage rooms. You don't want to miss the rare cards. Um, I think I think I might have missed a couple, maybe. Basically, when I, when I see stairs, I go up them. Because the odds of me finding the stairs again, very low. It'd be cool if this game had like an in-game map that like had like a uh, fog of war. And as you like explored, it began to like unlock the different parts of the map. It would be a nice little quality of life type thing. Uh, we'll try going down. What do you think? Am I going to be able to take on this 450 boss? Way too advanced for 1997. They had games like they had stuff like that back then. They had maps. They had Fog of War. They had like, uh, like, uh, not Starcraft. Warcraft 2 had that. Yes, Warcraft 2 had that. Uh, for Square. Yeah, maybe, maybe it's too much for Square. Oh, here's a storage room. And no, Star Starcraft 1 did not have that. Well, that was underwhelming. A SAR rifle. Whoa! What was it? What was the damage on my current weapon? The base damage. I think it's seventy-five. That's that's freaking nice. That's better than what I have. Oh, but you're saying not to use rifles anyway. That's freaking nice. We got here a tool. Okay, and we're getting the last one. Oh, we got a card. We got another card. Starcraft One absolutely had it. Fog of War did it. I, don't, I haven't played Starcraft One in a long time. The last time I tried playing it, I was having issues like back in the day with the CD keys and stuff. I was having issues with my CD key and I just like gave up trying to play it. But I, I, be, I beat Starcraft one again, maybe like I'm going to say within the last 10 years, I beat it again. Maybe within the last like six or seven years. Use what you want. I mean, I'm, I'm loving the rifles, but I'm, I'm open to try handguns or whatever. Warcraft 3, I beat that game probably over a dozen times. Like the story of the campaign and the expansion campaign. And I, I played it a bit online too, like 4v4 RT. 1v1, I played, I wasn't super good at. It's very fun. But, you know, it's been a long time. That was, that game came out in like, I'm going to say 2005 or something like that. So, it's been a long time. And I actually have never played a single minute, a single second of World of Warcraft. Despite loving StarCraft 1, loving Warcraft 2 and 3, loving Diablo 1 and 2. Never even played a single second of that game. Oh, wow. Huh. Earlier? What did I miss? Hmm. I did not think I was running into a dead end here. I'm a little lost right now. Down? I forgot which way I even came from. Hopefully this is right. I think this is wrong. Yeah, that's the entrance. Oh, you're saying earlier as in um, Warcraft 3 came out earlier than 2005, you're saying. Couldn't have been that much earlier. I could have sworn I was 19 when that came out. I could have sworn. Let me ask you guys this question. Out of all the Blizzard IPs, what is your favorite IP? Not your favorite game, just IP. Not much. 
Oh, so like 2004. Let's try going... Starcraft? Okay. I've only played... I, I'm gonna say... Wait, what? I'm so turned around right now. I'm so turned around. I already went in the storage room on this. Oh, wow. And Blizzard is dead, so. Yeah, Blizzard is not what it was. I mean, Diablo, I, I know a lot of people complain about it, but like, I got Diablo 4 when it released, and I liked it. I didn't, I didn't beat it. I stopped, I stopped playing it. So, I mean, I guess, how good could it have been, you know? I, I was liking it when I was playing it. I just started playing other things. Diablo 3 I hated. I, n I never I heard it got I heard it got better over time, but I got it at release day and I me yeah, mediocre. Yeah, sure. That's fair. Oh, you're saying for Diablo 4. Okay. I thought I thought Diablo 3 was straight up doo-doo. Like doo-doo. Yeah, but yeah, Diablo 4 was $70 at, at launch. And like for the time investment and everything, like it's it, like you said, it's not really worth it. You know, Diablo three. I haven't played the expansion, but at, at release, it was so bad. It, it didn't work. Day one, it, it just straight up didn't work. Um, and then there was the in real the the uh, real money auction house, and just Blizzard became such a greedy, shitty company. Um, yeah, it was. T it left such a bad taste in my mouth, and it was so cartoony. The graphics, it was so. It looked like it looked like Warcraft three, like that's what it, that's what it looked like, which that's not Diablo, you know. And the story, like I, I thought, it kind of left off at a cliffhanger a little bit in, in Diablo two when Tyrrell destroyed the World Stone, and they kind of didn't really talk about like the story of Diablo three wasn't really about it, it. It was like it was like a big time skip, like I don't know. And then Decker Kane re randomly dies to some monsters like henchmen. Hey, what's up, Klonoa? It was just such a disappointment and like, oh man. Starcraft, uh, I love Starcraft 1. Uh, I played, was it Wings of Liberty? I did, I played the campaign once. I never played a single second of the online. Uh, Heart of the Swarm, whatever it's called. I bought it when it released and my computer at the time couldn't play it. And I never tried to play it again. And then the Protoss campaign, I never tried playing. I'll check. Oh, is that the camp? That's the comic you're talking about. Let me check it out. Starcraft 2's campaign is great. I, I I thought the Wings of Liberty campaign was fine. Oh, we're actually pretty close to leveling up. Go finish StarCraft 2. <laughs> I don't even have a disk drive on my computer. <laughs> I have the physical disks for the uh, two um, campaigns I didn't do. Oh, there's the uh, Sage of the Six Paths uh, Steven character that you were talking about. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Why is he in his underwear? Why, why can't I see his underwear? Only played StarCraft 1? What did I miss? <laughs> WOL portion, Wings of Liberty portion is the weakest. Really? Buy one bit. Really? I, I, I remember thinking the campaign was pretty good. You know, I might be, I might be remembering it wrong, but from what I remember, because I bought it at launch, from what I remember of Wings of Liberty, the the units I, I didn't like the units because there was like a lot of a lot of units were like very similar to each other instead of having like those really distinct unit roles that were present in um starcraft one i might be i mean I'm, i might be i might be mistaken on that but i remember while i played it that was like something i didn't like 
It is pretty good, but the Zerg portion is better and Protoss portion is crazy. Okay. I mean, talk about talk about a cliffhanger. The way that Brood War ended. Oh man. Blizzard Blizzard used to be so good. What happened? They were so good. I when I was a little a little kid, I just loved everything that they did. Yeah, one day I will do it, but I need I need a working I need a disk drive because I've got those those physical copies. Activision. Yeah, they were bad before that. Did you hear what they did with the Warcraft 3 um reforged or whatever it's called? I didn't play it, but I heard horror stories. I heard the ser I heard the servers don't work still. Like they, they ruined they ruined like Warcraft 3 like the the original version i don't want to say classic because classic would be reign of chaos i guess the people who were good left yeah i heard the blizzard north people they make it there they made like some of the best games ever and it just turned into like oh speaking of blizzard I was a gigantic Overwatch fan. And I know the Blizzard North people were already gone. Did I go this way already? But I love I loved Overwatch and they that's another thing they ruined. Overwatch 2 I was so pumped for and what a terrible money grabbing shit show. I tried playing it for a few months and I it's just so monetized. You have to pay money to unlock the characters. You know, I heard someone love StarCraft so much that to keep himself from playing it, he uninstalled and actually broke the disc. I believe that. That was like, that was, I think StarCraft was the first like real eSport, I think. From what I, from what I remember. And I think maybe Warcraft 1 was the first game that had like, was that the first game that had like servers with like, uh, where you could like do like online competitive. It was in Korea. I feel like this is the beginning of the, of the stage now, but it's, it is the wrong way. I'm so lost. I think I'm still on like floor 44. I think I've been on floor 44 for like 10 years. Ah, we did it. We did it. We're closer. We're closer. Man. I'm trying to remember if there was something, though, before Warcraft 1. I didn't play Warcraft 1 back then. I, I just remember learning about it. I'm trying to remember if there was something before that. Like, what about, like, EverQuest and stuff like that? Was that before? I never played that, but was that before Warcraft 1? I'm just... I feel like the answer is no, but I'm, I'm not sure. Unfortunately, uh, real-time strategy games as a whole are disappearing. Only indie devs bother making them. Well, they had, like... A, didn't they have, like, Halo... A Halo version of RTS games? But yeah, RTS games, I, I do agree. You, you really don't see those anymore. Even for, like, computer gamers. Like, it's really not a thing. But I remember back in the day, it was all about Age of Empires, Command and Conquer, Stronghold, uh, Warcraft, Starcraft. Like, it was huge. Like, a lot of people like playing those games. I actually had to buy Star Wars Empire at War because my laptop has no disk drive. I was so annoyed. I never even heard of that game. Is that an RTS Star Wars game? Never heard of it. Now they'd rather make another mobile game, just ask Command & Conquer. I, I didn't even know Command & Conquer was making mobile games. I haven't even heard of anything Command & Conquer related in like... For, forever. I mean, they made tons of games, but... I used to play the original one with a controller on the Sega Saturn. And that was my first Command & Command & Conquer experience. Like, I like I, like I used, I beat it. Like, I played, I played the hell out of it. And I would like use all the codes. And I, don't know, I remember like there's like a, the commando unit where there's this mission where the commando just has to like navigate an enemy camp and he's like pretty much by himself. 
I, don't know. I remember I remember it was really cool. I liked it back in the day, like the mid '90s or whatever. They make them now, but they're niche t uh, titles. Didn't know that. Oh, we got an enemy. Command and Conquer Rivals is the first one years ago, and now they're making Command and Conquer Legion. Okay. I have no idea like what the story is anymore. Like, I barely knew what the story was back then, <laughs> so I definitely don't know now. Oh, we're really close to level. We're 30 XP away from leveling. I bought it when it came out back in the 2000s, but then I realized the laptop has no disk drive, so I had to buy it again. Yeah, like I said, I own the disk drive right now on my computer. Attack down? Uh, pass? That's a pretty shitty piece of armor. I mean, I guess the base stat is okay, but I think this is just going to get trashed. Actually, no, I'll keep it for the, um, the HP up on it for when I transfer to another, so I don't have to use a super tool. Rival has no story. It's a one versus one zone capture game. Well, I remember. I remember Command and Conquer had that had that like those like FMVs. Oh damn, wrong way. Anime World War. What's that? I remember playing a Tom Clancy RTS on the PS3 where you had to actually use, I don't think I have it anymore. I, I, I have the game still, but you had to use this like microphone that I don't have anymore. And you'd have to talk into the mic and you have to give commands to your units in the mic. But it was like really, like that sounds cool, but it was not cool when you played it. It was like, you'd be like, retreat, 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 back, forward. Like, I don't know, it was really, it was really terrible. I think you just like, I think you like didn't even use the controller at all. I, I think I have no, I have no idea where the fuck I am. Just so you guys know. End war. That's it. Yeah, that's it. End war. That's the game. I don't know if you like it. I did not like it. Did not enjoy that game at all. Probably played it like twice. You have it. You still have the mic. Then the mic wouldn't work and it was a hassle. I think in general, it just had very unresponsive controls. Fuck. It had quirks to figure out. Oh, I bet. I'm sure playing it for two days probably wasn't enough to like really figure out what you're doing. But I was, I was much less patient back then than I am now. I find that streaming games, it's another reason, another, it's one of the main reasons I stream actually. I find that when I stream games, it really helps me like focus and be determined to beat, get to beat games and not give up. When if I'm just playing by myself, I play a game, I'm not really feeling it. I'm just like, oh, I'll just move on to the next game. But streaming, like even if I'm playing a game I don't like, like I'm, I'm very determined. I'm like, I'm very motivated. I want to knock that off my list of games that I wanted to play. Loved it after figuring it out. Really? Did you did you beat the whole game? No one ever no one ever really talks about that game, and most people I brought that up to n never knew what I was even talking about. Level up. Uh, you didn't really get a lot of BP there. Will you, will you play Parasite Eve 2? I definitely will play it. But it's not going to be my next game, though. The next game is going to be Fatal Frame. Which I, I've already been saying that for, like, two weeks. So I've never played the Fatal Frame games. Um, Let's pour this in. Where's my gun? 278 to 283. Um, I loved the Star Wars RTS games. I didn't, I did not know they existed. Already like that without streaming. Oh, you're like determined to, to, to like beat games and you don't quit. That's good. I'm much less patient. Doing this forces me to be patient. So, oh, Beatles? That's new. Um, you beat Emor? It was a long track. I didn't think that was going to be a long game. Hmm. Interesting. I remember it being hard. I remember like really struggling to beat any of the missions. 
Probably because like I, I was probably struggling just in general with the controls. Ah, oh, crap. Yeah, I might not have beat the first level. Or maybe maybe I didn't and I couldn't beat the second level. I don't really remember. But I know I, I did not get far in that game. I remember playing... Um, this is kind of going off on a tangent a little bit. But I remember way back in the day playing this game that was so frustrating. I never beat the first level. And I tried, like, I gave up and, tr and then tried again multiple times, probably four or five, six times. And I never beat the first level. Um, I never even got very far past, like, the first couple enemies. It's a, It was a first-person... It was kind of like a first-person shooter game, but I think it was more like... A first person, like, I think you're really kind of supposed to be, like, stealthy more than, than, than be, like, actively engaged enemies. But it's a game, it was a game called sp something along the lines of, like, Space Hulk, like, Curse of the Blood Angels, or, or something like that. It was definitely Space Hulk something. Uh, it was, uh, the game itself wasn't long. Oh, you probably just were losing a lot. Not much patience patience for long RPGs anymore. My work is hard on my brain, so I prefer cinematic action stuff. What do you do for work? Oh, it's getting late, but I'm determined to beat 450 before I go to bed. Software engineer. Yeah, I bet. I bet that's very taxing. My work can be uh, challenging with like, it can be draining, but sometimes it's not. It's only 8 a.m. Uh, by me, it's 9.30, but I'm um, I'm on night, every, every month I switch from day shift to night shift. So I'm on night shifts right now. So even though I'm off, I'm on a night shift schedule. So I stay up all night and then I, um, I sleep until like the early afternoon and the next month I'll be on day shift and then you won't be seeing me stream as much probably on day shift you know I don't have as much free time unfortunately to play games so you've played Space Hulk uh, Epion oh Blood Angels yeah, that was Blood Angels yeah, I mean, I, I never really, even using guides, I never really figured out how, like, the mechanics to not just instantly die when you were encountering enemies. I, I really, I, I could never beat the first level, like, like I said. I never even, like, I think, I think it was, you're, like, you had, like, this little mini-map, right? With, like, enemies on it, and you could avoid them, but, like... I struggled to avoid them, and then whenever I would encounter any enemy, I would, I would get completely slaughtered. And I think I played it on the Saturn as well. And I still have that game. Uh, will you see me later today? I will be on later, but I have D&D &D at 7, and we'll probably be playing till like after midnight. So I won't be on till late, but I will be on after that, though. Whenever, whatever time we finish, I will be on. So probably like 1230, 1 o'clock, something like that. I should be on by then. Oh, storage room. Uh, you missed it, Klonoa. That 70s girl was in here a couple hours ago. But she uh, said she had to go take a nap. Oh, monster. She's been coming in. Uh, almost every time I stream, she's been coming on. Which I definitely appreciate. Ow. Ah, uh, no revive, huh? Yeah, the the one viewer, well, Epion saw saw when she was in here, but she was helping me a lot when I was doing USP three. I'm guessing this gun is not a pistol that we want with the base attack of seventy six. I've already seen I've already seen pistols that had uh, base attacks in the eighty like mid eighties. I've already seen them, so I'm assuming this isn't going to be a one that we're going to really want. You go see it then. 
Well, I appreciate that, Pion. Appreciate you, for sure. Definitely been um definitely been nice chatting with you and then you giving me advice on what to do in this game. So and like I was saying, that, that 70s girl, she was helping me with Silent Hill 3, giving me all kinds of um like tips and advice and stuff like that. Like all these puzzles. Alright. I'll see you later. I'm in, I'm gonna be done pretty soon. Like I said, as soon as I beat 450, I'm gonna be calling it. And I think we're on like I'm gonna say we're on like around I've really been keeping track. I think we're around 47 or so. Hang on to a lower attack, but their speed makes up for it. Yeah, but like I said, I, I saw I, I've already seen handguns much more powerful than this USP. I think I saw two that were like mid 80s in power. Be yeah, a Star Wars Galactic Battlegrounds is like Star Wars with Age of Empires gameplay. I never even heard. I never even heard of that. What kind of like units do you use? What are like the, I mean, obviously like stormtroopers and stuff like that, but like what else would there be? You know what I mean? All right. Yeah, we probably, we probably have like, I'm gonna say two more floors left maybe before we get to the boss. Mid eighties is the best handguns gonna get. There's a rifle in floor 60 with 120 attack. Holy crap. Oh, so I shouldn't I shouldn't have I shouldn't have broke down those handguns. Because like I said, I, I broke them down. Crap. I hope I find more that are like that. What we got? Oh, there's a lot of chests in here. Offense plus four? I've never seen that before. That's awesome. Rocket. Well, it's kind of whatever. Sam Armor 1. It's got some decent abilities on it, but the stats aren't anything. Range plus 2 is fine. And a tool. But we got that offense plus 4, baby. That is nice. Look at this, look at this thing. 287 attack. I'll have 300 attack before long. Um, Troopers, airships, Jedi, Sith. Oh, okay. You'll be fine. Mechs, droids, the usual. Uh, on, the, on the 450 boss. I mean, the 440 boss was very, very easy, but he was able to damage me. So I am a little concerned. I mean, I have a bunch of revives. I have a bunch of I have a bunch of potions. I'll probably be fine. So you're saying to go haste? I know you're going to. I know you're leaving, Epion. But you're saying to haste, then um, then do liberate, correct? You're aiming for 400 by 470. I'm pretty far away from that. The base damage of these weapons don't really go up that high. I mean, oh man, I don't know how, how am I going to get that? Always haste is the best ability in the game. I've used it before and noticed it's very good. Crap. Yeah, we have a long way to go to have stats like that. 400, 400 attack. We're, we're, we got a long way to go. I mean, if we're going to find attack plus four items, <laughs> you know, that's going to get us there kind of quick. That's awesome. I can't believe we found that. Uh, hopefully, the, hopefully this isn't the way I came from. I really have no idea. It is the way I came from. <laughs> Shit. With the handgun in haste, the ATB fills up before it finishes shooting. That's perfect. That's awesome. Like with the club. I already went this way, didn't I? Fuck. I may have to like really backtrack now. Oh, I, I was saying, I was talking about it before earlier. Um, but yeah, my according to my uh, analytics, I am like so close to making affiliate. I was like just decimals off of average viewers to be affiliate. So that's kind of cool. I don't know really what that would change, but it's just cool that 
Oh, this isn't the entrance. Fuck, it's the entrance. You even make your own custom scenarios. Like, for example, I made two Jedi versus 700 dro droids. Hmm. How'd that go? Same with rifles. Okay. I know Epion likes the rifles a lot. Full rounds after hasty kills. I guess I'll go up? I don't know. I have no idea. Did not crash the game and the Jedi won. How old is your laptop? You said you're playing on a laptop, right? It's gonna be dead end. Shit! Oh my god, this place is ridiculous. I noticed floors 40 to 50. This has been taking me way longer than the other floors for some reason. This has been just brutal. Couple years. Oh, okay. I'll see you good. Yeah, you're golden. I mean, I could grind up to level 99, and that'll give me, that'll give me actually a pretty nice boost in, in damage. That'll be like another 30 plus damage. So that's something to think about. I don't know where to go. I think I've explored everywhere. Right? I think I've been everywhere. Did you like the pick? I did the stage of the six paths. I did. It was weird that why why was his underwear why was his underwear out? That was kind of odd. That just struck me like the artist chose to do to have his underwear exposed. It was a little strange. But otherwise, yeah, the, the stage of the six path stuff was cool. I do have a favor for uh, rifles, but you use what you want to use. I mean, I really haven't used handguns since the beginning, and the rifles have been—they've—they've they've been fine. I'll do—I'll do this. I'm gonna stick with this rifle until I find until I find like an awesome, awesome handgun. Otherwise, we're just sticking with rifles. And I just invested so much into this rifle just now. Objectively, handguns will be better in the end. Anywho, okay. Yes, finally. I think we're on 49. Just walking to work, see you tonight. All right, Epion, I'll see you tonight. Like I said, it'll be really late when I'm on. It'll be really late, but I will be on. Gotta play D&D. We haven't played in like two weeks. So, and unfortunately we don't stream it on this channel. We stream it on another channel. Steven hardly ever wears pants in art. I understand that, but the Sage of the Six Paths, his clothing can cover that can cover that. Like he's got this big underwear just like just like out. Like, I don't know. It was strange. I don't sleep. Yeah, it's, it does seem like you're awake at a lot of a lot of the time. I'm probably going to sleep seven hours as soon as I'm done with this. Um, we got two chests. What we got? Ah, damn. One of them's a monster chest. I mean, maybe I'll get a revive out of it. Best case scenario. Nope. Got nothing. That's too bad. Another monster? Really? That's weird. Double monsters in the in the in in the only two chests? That's really unlucky, isn't it? Wow, that is a lot of damage. It just did 222 damage to me. Damn. Let's use a couple of medicines. Just to play on the safe side. 
Honestly, the pick itself looks way better than I imagined. Like I said, the Sage of the Six Paths part of it, and he made that so quickly. The, the Sage of the Six Paths part of that does look really good. Dead end, I'm assuming, yeah. Yeah, I think we I think we got one more floor and I think we're there. I think. Then again, I've been in each one of these floors for forever, so it's possible I've made less progress than I think I did. I don't know what to expect. Elevator. I don't think I've seen the elevator yet here. Damn it. Dead end. Damn it. Mm. It's killing me. I think we're going the right way. I can feel it. I can feel it. We got it. We're going the right way. I just imagine it like black and white with Steven cropped out like a telegram emote. Not all this. No, come on. He's not going to do art. You're not going to commission him and he'll do something lazy like that. I expected I expected it to kind of look the way it looks. Am I close to leveling up again? I'm very close to leveling up again. Wow. Very, very close. Yeah, baby. All right. We, I think we might be on the floor. Potentially, we're on the floor with the boss. I guess we'll see shortly. All right. Oh, this is big. I'm pumped. I'm pumped. Now we just need a battle pick. Did, did you pay the artist for that? I thought you only paid for one one uh, image. I forget. What's the Sage of Six Paths brother's name? I forget. You need one. You need one of him. Their names are like was it like Hagaromo and like Haromo and like Hamaromo or something. I forget. Been so long since I uh, watched that. Oh, we got our battle. Look how close we are with our level. Oh my goodness. We're so close. Probably one more fight, we'll probably level up. Probably. Indra and Asura. That's the son. I think it's the sons of the sage and his rival. Which I don't think they're. I don't think you really learned that much about them either. But they're basically like. I guess the ancestors of um, Hashirama and uh, Madara. Like the like distant ancestors. Do you ever think about how in Naruto, like the history of like the whole beginning of the Ninja Way and all these clans and all this stuff, like when you actually do the math, it was not a long time before the current like generation. Like in actual in actual years. It didn't it didn't happen that long. Like the first Hokage was it's not that long ago that he was around. Like, it's only like a couple dozen years. We got our level up, hell yeah. Didn't really get great uh, BP on that though. Fine. I'm just gonna put the, I'm gonna just put that into the uh, attack. We're gonna go to 287 to 292. Be 
yeah, like the whole the whole entire like timeline of Naruto is not like the Shinobi Nations, all that stuff. It's not that been around that long. When you think when you actually like do the math, which I think is interesting. You know, when you compare the Naruto verse to you know the United States of America, which the United States of America hasn't been around that long in history, but our history goes back hundreds of years. You know, the Naruto verse goes back a few dozen years. This is interesting to me. I don't know. I thought this was going to be the boss level, but now I'm thinking it's not. It still could be, I guess. But I don't think we found the storage on this level. I was thinking my friend being a Naruto villain or like a One Piece character since he likes both. Let's see. So if we're going to do a Naruto villain. Do Orochimaru. Maybe a One Piece villain. Blackbeard. I would say. I don't know too much about the, the current like One Piece characters. I used to watch it back in the day. I don't know too much about the like, what's currently going on. Doflamingo, I think, is another one you could do. We got two boxes. Tool. And battle. Like Steven and Ryan are putting on a performance for a Halloween festival. I think that's cool. I think you could easily get that across with that with very minimal, minimal, minimal panels. Like you could probably just do like, like you did, like one panel and you could probably get that point across. You know? I think you're on 450 now. I thought I was, but now I don't think so. It is, it's really big. Should it be this big? Oh, you were right. All right, let's see what boss the boss of 450 could do. I gotta find the elevator again. Giant cockroach? All right, well, let's haste. I wanted friend's input, but he wants me to surprise him. All right, we'll go right into liberate. So I think this is a, I think this is like a straight up unique boss. I don't remember anything like this in the game. 553, look at this damage, 553. 553, 553, 553, so much damage. There's literally thousands of damage. You want AT to build up though. Oh, it's dead. Wow, it couldn't even survive, the, couldn't survive that. I leveled up again. Look at that, baby. Woo! Nice little level up. Couldn't, couldn't survive my liberate. Kind of a letdown, actually. Uh, damage goes from 292 to 296. Uh, it's supposed to clone itself after a while. Well, I never got, I never got to see what its abilities were. Since I'm just way too strong for, uh, for this part of the game. I'll go back and save and stuff, though, just in case. But... I am, I am unfortunately going to have to uh, call the stream and go to bed, but I, f I feel confident that I could take gold way up to 60 without too much too much trouble. I feel confident. Many people, many people simply stuck because it keeps cloning itself. It died 
Oh, really? People get stuck on that boss? It died like that. It died so fast. I almost feel bad for it. Many people simply... Uh-oh. And I came to you since you're the, the Naruto genius. I would not say I'm a Naruto genius at all. At all. Like I said, I haven't even watched Baruto. Gotta find this damn elevator. Well, there was a point where I was really, really into uh, Naruto. I remember when um, they were the Storm games when they were releasing uh, Storm Three. I remember like I was on like message boards every day reading about and discussing Storm Three, and I was so pumped for what was going to be in the game. And I played the game so much. And then after and then after part two ended, and after I, I was done playing uh, Storm Three, I kind of I don't know I kind of lost interest a little bit. I I did I did get and play Storm Four, but I only I think I bought it and I just played the story mode and beat it once. And I think I did like no online battles or anything. I was just done. And that was around that time. That was like when PS Four was brand new. So this is like this is a little while ago. And since then, I just kind of haven't really followed Naruto too much. I've watched some TikToks of Baruto clips. And that's that's really it, you know? Yeah, so we'll dump some of, our, some of the stuff that we got off, save it, and we're going to call it. Went pretty well though. Took out the 450 boss. Feeling really confident going towards 460. Feel real confident. Now past that, I've heard the difficulty really ramps up, so I don't know about past that, but I feel very confident that I could take on 460. 450 boss didn't he couldn't even fight me. He he was literally couldn't even do anything to me. Alright, so we're gonna store items. Let's see. What do we want to store? Tools. Cool. Crap. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I need more revives. Store this. We'll store another tool. Price our key four. Another tool. I think that's it. And then about equipment. We had a couple. We had a couple things. All right, I think that's it. I think we're good now. So we'll just save it. Yeah. Um. Like I said, I'll be on tonight at probably twelve thirty, one o'clock, somewhere around that range when I'm done playing D and D. All right. Thanks for watching, hanging out, and I will catch you guys next time. See you.